As the title suggests, we are going to be pushing Cine Still 800T as a Fujifilm recipe. Now, if you're new to all this, you might have some questions. Firstly, what is a Fujifilm recipe? A Fujifilm recipe is where you can dial in your settings on your camera and produce film-like quality images as a JPEG. The reason these recipes have become so popular is because you can emulate film straight out of camera as a JPEG. No post-production is needed whatsoever. What is Cine Still 800T? This is a type of film stock and is usually used at night, given the T, which stands for tungsten. And the last question you might have is what is pushing? Pushing film involves intentionally underexposing it during the capture and then compensating for the underexposure during the development. This technique increases the effective ISO of the film. As a result, the image appears brighter, but with increased contrast and gain. Obviously, we are not pushing film in a digital body. We are just trying to emulate that film style within this Fujifilm recipe. So I hope some of that kind of made sense. And if you are interested in this Cine Steel recipe for your Fujifilm camera, I will be going through all the settings at the end. So about a week ago, I was in Hanoi and I decided to run this recipe through my Fujifilm X Pro 3. Hanoi, if you haven't been, is completely mad. You can see from the opening shots of this video, there are motorbikes everywhere. Crossing the street is like a death trap and there are neon signs everywhere. So this is what kind of led me to use this Fujifilm recipe. And so after inputting the recipe into my X Pro 3, I decided to take to the streets at night for a couple of nights and take you know, a bunch of photos to see how it's come out. As you can see on screen now, these are some of the shots I captured. And the lens that I used to take all these photos with was the Sigma 56mm f1.4 perfect for low light conditions. I also took a few shots during the day to see how they come out as well. As you can see, it's not too bad, but I really think that this Fujifilm recipe really excels at night. So have a look at some more photos and see what you think. Does this look like Push Cine Still 800T? I have also graded all the footage with a LUT that I've created. You can download that LUT for free if you like. I've simply called it Cine Still 800T and I've tried to just emulate the Fujifilm recipe. All you have to do, go to my website and it's there for you to download. It works perfectly with Rec 709 and the DJI footage that I've used here. Maybe just don't use 100% of the impact. Now, if you wanna import this recipe, just follow along here or you can download the Fuji X Weekly app where it has all the settings and it's probably a lot easier if you do that. But like I said, if you wanna follow me, you can do that here now. There are also a few different pushed Cine Still recipes. There is one for the X Pro 3 and X100V and there is also one for every other camera of the Fuji models. So just be careful um, which one you're inputting into what camera you have. But I use the X-Pro3, so I'm gonna give you the settings for that camera. The film simulation is a Turner. Dynamic range is 400. The grain effect is strong and large. Now, if you are aware of this channel and how I input my Fujifilm recipes, I always add grain in post. I never put it on the JPEG. I just prefer to have a bit more control over how much I want in my photo. So um, you can do this, go ahead if you want it to completely emulate what's in the recipe, but my 
The way I do this is I don't add grain. The color chrome effect is strong. Color chrome effect blue is strong. The white balance is 7700 Kelvin. The reds are minus nine and the blues are plus seven. Highlights are plus three. Shadows are plus one. Color is minus two. Sharpness is zero. Noise reduction is minus four. And the clarity is minus three. So look, if you have any questions about inputting these recipes into your camera, drop them in the comments below. Um, if I can't answer them, I'm sure someone in this community can, because there is a bunch of really kind folk that um, watch this channel. So I, yeah, big thanks to you guys out there for helping me out, because I don't always know all of the answers. That is for sure. So what do I think about this recipe? I think it's great. I really enjoyed um, shooting with it. Hanoi was a very good place to test this Cine Still 800T recipe out. Do I think it emulates Cine Still in the film stock in its original form? I, I possibly, I, I've never shot with it, so I can't really say. Having looked at some other people's work when they have, I would say it's not too bad. I think these Fujifilm recipes are a bit of fun. I think they're doing their best to get close to something that is probably a little bit impossible. It's not going to be the definitive, you know, replication of something that is of its true origin. You really do need to use the proper film stock. You know, if you're shooting Kodak Portra 400, we can get pretty close on these digital cameras and it's not too bad, but it's nothing compared to the real thing. But it doesn't stop us from having fun with it and getting as close to the recipe as we can. I really do think the Fuji X Weekly app is a really good tool um, and it makes you maybe shoot in different conditions to those recipes. So for me with this, I had this in my head for a while, I wanted to shoot Cine still and I wanted to shoot at night, but I didn't really have the right environment or the right location and Hanoi presented it itself um, and after a few nights walking around, I thought this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to load my Fujifilm camera with this recipe and you know make some images. Uh, I'm really happy with, with with what I produced, and I was so happy with one image. This boy on his bicycle coming down the market. Um, it was raining a little, and I was able to capture this image. I also captured it in a raw file. So here is the JPEG, the Fujifilm recipe that I took, and here is the edited version. So you never know what you're gonna capture on the streets. So I was so, so happy to have capture this shot in a raw file as well, gather all that data and redevelop it. And this is you know what I was able to come up with. Um, really chuffed with this image and uh, I think it's always best to shoot JPEG and RAW if you're going out. Anyway, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think. This channel is all about community and, you know, having discussions amongst one another and encouraging one another to uh, get out there and keep shooting. Anyway, go check out that free LUT. I did make that LUT for this video for my own benefit, but I always think it's good to share and uh, see if anyone else finds any benefit with it. Anyway, look, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.